Hi everybody, Coach Rich here, and I wanted to take a couple of minutes to show you a little bit more about how I use UCAN. And the main reason I wanted to do this video is UCAN is a slightly different kind of product. It's a starch to super starch, um, which makes it different because it's a much more complex carbohydrate. It's much more so than simple sugars that you might find in some other products. And so what I wanted to show was a couple of things. One, relative to some other products, just how, uh, how, how does it go into a, uh, an, into a water bottle? Um, how, how messy or clean is it? And it is a little messier than other things because it is slightly different. And that's the reason I just wanna address it and show you how to, how to mix it and, um, and not have it be messy. So let me take you through, I'm gonna actually have three different products here. I've got UCAN Performance um, Energy, I've got a Custom Infinite Blend, and I've got some scratch here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour each of them in their kind of recommended scoop into a glass. I've got uh, three of my, uh, one of my favorite uh, race uh, through my favorite races, these are glasses from Without Limits, and this is the Harvest Moon, which is where we're going to put the Yukon. I've got the Boulder Peak, where we're going to put Infinite, and I've got Oktoberfest here, where I'm going to put the Scratch. So let me show you each of these. Uh, this is the Yukon first. When I open this up, you can see I've got kind of a dark, uh, dark uh, marble countertop here. I'm just going to grab the scoop. And so there's the rounded scoop, and I'm going to pour that in, and you can see just how it goes in and the volume and such. So that's for just now. Let me show you Infinite and what that looks like. So here's Infinite. Now this is a bigger scoop, and it actually requires two. One, two. Okay, you can see there's a little bit of residue around that. And then here is the scratch. Again, this is just a single scoop. It's uh, a little smaller, perhaps, than the UCAN, about maybe half the size of UCAN. Those are really all for about a 16 to 20 ounce serving, each of those. Um, actually, I take that back. Uh, UCAN is also uh, two scoops for the uh, 16 to 20. So it would be that same, that volume right there is what you're looking at. So there you go. Again, um, probably no real serious mess in either of those, but you can see maybe just a little bit more of a cloud inside of that glass than you can the other two where they are. So that's that. So let me now show you kind of some different ways to mix it. So you can, these are two things I really highly recommend that you have if you uh, order some you can get yourself one of these shaker bottles. These are great. These have a little shaker ball you put it in there and then you can pour. What I recommend doing is pouring at least uh, eight ounces of water in there in advance. Once you have the, uh, the shaker bottle half full with you know, just eight to ten ounces worth of water, then I just put in a scoop. Actually, probably best if you're just going to go ahead and do, uh, if you're looking for a 16 to 20 ounce serving, do the two scoops right all at once. There's one. Oops. There's two. Now you can see, see with this, I just plopped it in there. You saw the overspray. So I'm going to show you how to avoid that here in a second when I do a, uh, a different bottle. So here is the shaker. You put it in here. And now <clears throat> what I recommend is mixing that up really good. Really mixing it up good. And then adding another the balance of the 20 ounces and there's a little there's fill lines here on the side and then just finish it and with that volume of water that'll mix up really nice and then that's ready to go right into your water bottle just like that the other way to do this is to put it right into your bottle. And the way to avoid some of that overspray is they've thought of this, which is pretty, pretty sweet. It's a scoop, but it's a scoop that has a little bit of a funnel on the top of it, snaps on, 
and it has a little plug, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this and we're going to scoop it. Oops, we take out the old scoop. Set that aside for a second. Take this guy, put this in here. Now we have a little funnel. And what I like to do, you can either put that directly into your water bottle or what I like to do is have some to go, but just in case, especially for my longer rides, watch this. You can get these online at Amazon. You can look up different sizes. The idea is to find the right, this is a plastic test tube that has a screw on lid. And look at that, I can just put this right in there. Look at that, I've got, you can to go. And I just put two of these in a cycling pocket and there's a serving of you can for later. Between the bottle that I'm mixing and this, and a couple of these, I'm probably good for a good four or five hours. So there you go. Um, some easy tips on how to keep your you can under control with this filter, with this little funnel scoop, and the use of the shaker bottle. There you go. Hope that's a useful tip. Again, Coach Rich Soares bringing you this tip on how to fuel right.